Easy Tribe, Frenic here. Um, so yeah, I'm here today to bring you a little uh, demonstration and course on a new plugin called Chord Prism. And let's just give you a little outline of what we're going to go over today. Um, so um, this is a half hour uh, course uh, tutorial, so I can't go over every feature <clears throat> of this amazing plugin. Um, so I'm going to kind of focus on uh, the stuff I've been using myself. Uh, I find really useful in kind of composition. So we'll be first of all looking at the chord generator. So you know Chord Prism, as it suggests, can generate chords for you. And I'll show you the details of that. Uh, then we'll move on to the smart scale. And now this is where Chord Prism kind of moves uh, away from other kind of plugins or maybe door features which you perhaps have used before uh, when it comes to kind of generating chords and music theory. Um, it's really the smart scale uh, in this plugin that really uh, is powerful and I'm going to show you how to use that and I'm going to also show you a little bit of how the step sequencer works within it as well. So some of the key ideas are on this session today. Um, we're going to be primarily looking at songwriting, essentially. So um, if you're someone maybe who's used samples like I have myself in the past and haven't had the chance to kind of compose and write your own songs, this plugin is going to really help you out. <clears throat> it's amazing um, with, with experimenting as well. So maybe you've actually got a pretty good grasp with music theory. Um, and uh, this can help you kind of experiment and try out ideas. It's a good sort of notepad for that. Um, and of course, as I say here in the uh, key ideas, is uh, inspiration. You know, some we all need a bit of inspiration when it comes to making music. Um, and I think plugins like uh, like this one um, are brilliant for inspiring you, giving you new ideas. Um, what it's really going to help you with, and it's what it's helping me with, is improving melodies and bass lines. So as I said, I'm going to go through how the, it creates chords and chord progressions, um, but it's the way that the melodies and bass lines interact with those chord progressions, uh, which we're looking at today, which is so important. Um, and as I said, music theory, we're going to be covering a bit of music theory within this. I'm someone who's come from a background as a DJ, um, originally started making songs with you know purely samples, um, we don't only reach for the keyboard occasionally, so I'm, I'm I'm no piano player, but I have over the years learned some music theory because I don't want you guys to think that getting a plug-in like this is a replacement for you know learning. Essentially, any music theory you can learn is always useful when it comes to making music. Um, and what I've actually found is plugins that kind of help music theory have actually been a bit of an aid for me to learn how to use uh, music theory within my own uh, music and beats. So here we are, this is Chord Prism. So we're gonna start part one, as I said, is about the chord generator. But let me just give you a little overview before we get into all the functions of the chord generator. So you can see here on the left is the chord generator and on the right is what's called the smart scale multi arp so this simplifies chord progressions for me so if i press one note on my keyboard here it's set default to c minor and you can see down the bottom here when i'm pressing my c3 key i'm actually pressing three keys at once and it's whatever we've decided is our chord right so if i as i play up through the chord progression it will give me different chords, right? And so I can I can come up with interesting chord progressions just by jamming, essentially. Now what's interesting, if you look on the right here on the smart scale, you'll notice that these notes are actually changing, and that's because it sh it's it, when it's set to this dynamic scale, it's dynamically shifting uh, the tones that you're using within the, within the chords you're playing, which you know a piano player would would do naturally and play with. Uh, but what's so cool is this does this for you. So as you see, as I play play uh, the E flat major chord here, you'll see that the root note has turned to E flat major. I 
back to C, the roots turn back to C. So I can left and right hand play my keys um, and play a melody with the over here. So for example, if I just press a, a really simple one note melody, right? I'm just going to pick the root note and change the chords, ready? And you can hear how, yeah, it's that's just me playing one note, but it's shifting that note, um, which makes it much easier to improvise as you begin to play sort of more complicated patterns. Um, so you get the idea. What it's doing is giving us a really good way to make melodies and bass lines over chords that we've already made. So that's the end of the quick overview. Now I'm going to dive a bit deeper into the chord generator.